everyone. In today's video, I'll explain about Hitoff's method. Hitoff's method is useful to determine the transport number of ions. So, uh, this is an experimental procedure to determine the transport number. So, now let us see what the apparatus consists of. The apparatus consists of two vertical glass tubes. These glass tubes are connected through U-tube in the middle. You can see there are two vertical glass tubes. Okay, which are, which are connected through the U-tube in the middle. Okay, so the left one is connected to the electrode called cathode. Hence, we can call it as a cathodic compartment. The right one is connected to the anode electrode. Hence, we call it as anodic compartment. Okay, so the, these electrodes are made up of platinum or silver. Okay, so the middle tube, middle U-tube is helpful to stop the intermixing of these two solutions in the compartment A and compartment B. Okay, so the apparatus is connected to the series. Okay, it is connected in a series with the copper or silver electrodes in the coulometer. You can see this coulometer consists of copper or silver electrodes. So, this coulometer is helpful to measure the quantity of electricity passed through the, sol through the solution. Okay, so inside each, each compartment is filled with the same concentration of silver nitrate solution. You can see the solution is nothing but silver nitrate. So, when you are passing the electricity, the silver nitrate will break into silver ions and NO3 ions. So when you are adding to water, these ions will break into silver ion and nitrate ion. When you are passing electricity, all Ag plus ions move towards cathode. All NO3 minus ions move towards anode. Okay. So, the, gram equal, the number of gram equivalents deposited in this coulometer gives the quantity of electricity passed by the particular ions. Okay. The number of, uh, that means that when you are passing electricity, the number of gram equivalent, equivalents getting deposited in this uh, particular coulometer. This gives the measure of electricity. So, uh, the quantity of electricity carried by the cation and anion equals to the unity. That is nothing but the transport number of cation and anion equals to the unity. Okay. So, here coulometer helps to determine uh, the number of gram equivalent equivalents getting deposited and it gives the transport number of the particular ion. So, this U-tube, whatever tube you, you are taking this tube, no, this tube the concentration of Ag and O3 remains same in this particular U-tube because this uh, U-tube stops the intermixing of A and B compartments. That is the main use of this U-tube. So after completion of this electrolysis process, what we will do? We will take the solutions from the A compartment separately and B compartment separately and we will titrate this solution with another standard solution. To find out the concentration lost from the com each compartment. So when you are titrating, what happened? We can find out the concentration of particular ion in this particular solution. So this gives the, uh, finally, the concentration of ions in each compartment. So in this way, the coulometer helps to determine the transport number of each ion in this method. So this is the, this is completely about Hitoff's method, which is useful to determine the transport number. Thank you so much for watching.